Hello, Namaste, Salam Alaikum, Sastriyakal. Welcome back to another session with your washer at Vareva.com. You know, a lot of us try recipes from books and uh, especially when you are trying out recipes from international books, you will find a lot of terms, the kinds of cuts the vegetables need to be cut. So dear friend, today let's go back to the basics and learn the main cuts of vegetables. So when you look at a recipe and you see that you need to cut julians or batons or brunoa or different kinds of cuts, we will understand what those terms mean. The chiffonade of leafy vegetables. What is chiffonade? Chiffonade means shredding of any leafy vegetables into thin slices. This term is specifically used for leafy vegetables. Other leafy vegetables when you do chiffonade, leaves usually are folded into rounds like this and then cut. The folding of leafy vegetables is done so as we can get a good grip. There is another cut which is called piscine. You may not hear this cut very often but this is in French term literally called as a farmer's cut. This is used as an addition for soups and for other uh, garnishings too. Especially if you are taking part in any small cooking competitions or something, you know cut the vegetables all evenly squares or triangles. This kind of piscine cut is extremely good when you are trying to do a good garnish. All you do is add little butter, pinch of salt and sugar and just saute these vegetables just for a fraction of a minute, maybe one or two seconds, that's it. And then use it as a nice garnish and it will enhance any dish. The next kind of cut is julienne. That may look as similar as chiffonade, but chiffonade is a term that is used for green leafy vegetables. But whereas solid vegetables like carrot, radish or potatoes, when you cut them into thin matchstick slices, they are called julians. So for this you can take 1-2 inches of thickness. So first thing is usually whenever you cut julians out of a solid vegetable like carrot, just get a thin slice out so that this can rest easily. So you don't cut your fingers. And whenever you do any kind of cutting, make sure your knife is very sharp. Arrange them in such a way that it's easy to cut. And then just cut them into lengths like a matchstick. These are your julians. When you cut it with green leafy vegetables, chiffonade, and when you cut it with this solid vegetables like carrot, radish and potatoes, they are julians. Now we got piscine, chiffonade and julian. Usually whenever we want julians, we just cut the carrots diagonally like this. So we don't waste any of this uh, vegetable. When we cut in squares, you kind of uh, waste some carrots. So we just cut diagonally. This kind of shredding is also uh, you know called julians but you see here they are more precise here a little bit of uh, rough cut. The precise cutting we usually use in continental cooking but this kind of cutting we use when you are making Chinese and other oriental dishes. These are uh, like matchsticks which are 1 by 8 by 1 by 8 into 1 or 2 inches. The next cut what we are going to learn is brunoa. For that first you need to cut into julians which are by 1 by 8 by 1 by 8 into 1 to 2 inches. But this cut brunoa is 1 by 8 by 1 by 8 into 1 by 8. So they are all nice little small cuts. This fine cut is used in soups and other garnishing. And also whenever you want to use vegetables for stuffing you can cut them into brunoa or you can roughly mince them. But you know cutting in, into the shape of brunoa gives a nice texture when the stuffing comes out. The next cut what we are going to learn is batonet. A batonet means it can be half inch or one fourth inch of the size. So first we are going to cut them into half inch. So you can have a look. Batonet means nothing but the shape of batons which are half inch by half inch into two to three inches. Okay. These are uh, usually used as an accompaniment of uh, vegetables. Thicker batonets are usually cut from vegetables which are soft like zucchini and eggplant. But when you cut batonets of carrots and radish, you cut it one fourth inch size. Now there is another cut alumet. Alumet is basically 1 by 6 by 1 by 6 into 2 to 3 inches. So approximately we are going to cut them into 3 thin slices like this, again nicely arrange 
and again cut into three pieces. They are also kind of matchsticks, but they are more precise than Julian's. Okay, little bit thicker than Julian's. Julian's are also referred as uh, matchsticks, but they are much thinner. Whereas Alumet's is three times. You know, cut the batons into three small cuts. That is what you get Alumet. Now the next cut, what we are going to learn is dicing. See, dicing can be quite big, medium, and small. The fine cut of uh, dicing is called Macedon, but it is one of the smaller cut of dices. So here I've got a medium size of dicing. They all should look like um, squares. That's when you can call them dice. This is what we mainly use for our lot of Indian curries, especially like kurmas and all that. Whereas Macedon is even smaller cut. This kind of uh, cut you can use in uh, you know some kind of salads and all that. I'll show you one bigger dice also. Now I've got slightly bigger dices. These are little bit smaller dices. These are Macedon, which are fine dices. So various sizes of dicing. When it comes to lemon, there's a cut called wedges. So basically this is a cut. We cut it so that when we give a wedges as a garnish, there are no seeds because the seeds are inside this. Usually what we do is we squeeze this for juice. With the lemon wedges, we give it as a side for fish and other preparation. Now, when they say tomato quarters, just remove the eye or uh, cut the bottom and then you can cut them into halves or if you want a smaller quarters, you can cut them into, these are quarters of tomato. The smaller ones, slightly bigger ones. When you cut smaller wedges, you use in salads. We're going to change the chopping board. Before that, we'll just once again. This cut is called Paisen. This is chiffonade. These are julians, brunoise, alumet, quarters of tomato, wedges of lemon. These are the dices. Next cut is roundels. We use it often. Just you can cut roundels of tomatoes, carrots, onions. A lot of times we use uh, this cut of carrots or radish even in making sambar. These roundels of, you know, when you're making sambar, the cuts of vegetables that you use, sometimes you use roundels and sometimes you use cubes. And uh, when you cut carrot and other vegetables, you cut into cubes. Whereas radish, I love them roundels. So when they float in the sambar, they taste very good. The next cut is called half moon. It's very simple. If the roundel is like that, the half moon will be half of that, isn't it? Usually when they cut half moons of carrot, they take a little bigger carrot and cut them into half moons. This next cut, you will see when you eat any of the Chinese dishes, which is called a rolling cut. Because they take a round vegetable like this, whether it is a carrot or radish or any kind of vegetable. The first thing is cut the bottom part, then roll it a little bit and then cut. See what happens is you get different fancy shapes of like triangles with one hand rotated, very uneven cuts, which is called rolling cut. You roll the vegetable and cut it. There's another cut or when they say crushed garlic. Take a hammer and crush the garlic. Okay. See here, this garlic is crushed. But we chefs, we use a knife to crush the garlic, but I want you to be very careful. Here is also crushed garlic. Then the next, what I'm going to show you is minced garlic. So the same thing, the crushed garlic, just chop on one side, turn to the other side, and this is our minced garlic. We Indians, we put in a blender and we call it garlic paste. Next cut, what we are going to learn is turn vegetables or whatever. Usually we turn potatoes and a lot of other vegetables just to make them look good. Like here I have some. Basically what you do is take a potato and just you turn them using the knife. You can turn the vegetables into a nice uh, shape like this. These kind of turned vegetables are usually cooked in stock and served as an accompaniment for various dishes in a nice classic restaurants. So we have uh, minced garlic, turns of uh, vegetable, half moons of carrot, 
roundels of carrot, this is rolling cut of vegetable and uh, roundels of tomato. Uh, today we have learned various cuts of uh, vegetables. You may see some variations on different websites and different videos, but the purpose is to show you the basic cuts of vegetables. I know you are all looking forward to see various cuts and how to cut onions. In fact, I have a complete video about onions. Some of you may be wondering what is chef going to do with all these cuts of vegetables. Since we are juicing, 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 I am going to juice it. <laughs> no cuts of vegetables can go waste. Ah, lucky for me, great juicing from teaching you cuts of vegetables. Do not forget, Vareva is all about inspiring others to cook. Please post your recipes and cooking tips so others can benefit from your great cooking. Thank you.